you can draw this and procreate. I am a sucker for ice cream, so if I wouldn't be making Procreate tutorials for you, then perhaps I would have a little ice cream shop. And that's exactly what we will be drawing during this easy step-by-step -step Procreate tutorial. As always, you don't need any experience with drawing or with Procreate, I will be guiding you through every single step. You will learn all about the basic features of Procreate during this tutorial, like using the selection tool, using the move and transform tool, the symmetry tool, alpha lock, layer masks, and a lot lot more. So after following this tutorial, you won't just be hungry for ice cream, but you will also have more confidence using Procreate. For this tutorial, we're working on a canvas that is 2300 pixels by 3000 pixels, color profile set to sRGB, and I have linked the color palette in the description. I've also added a link to the font we'll be using. And before we get started, don't forget to share your little ice cream shop once you have finished following this video. When you're sharing it on Instagram, then don't forget to tag me in the image, not just in the description because that way I will be able to find your result and then maybe we will see it in the next video. Just like these fantastic results from my friends at Patreon. If you are enjoying these tutorials I'm sharing here on YouTube and you want more, then you need to go to Patreon. There I have more than 150 tutorials ranging from beginner levels to more advanced levels. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there. But now let's get working on our little ice cream shop. If you are ready, let's get started. We'll start off by creating a rectangular shape and we'll do that with the second color in the first row. And to make a rectangle with nice crisp corners, we are going to use the selection tool. That's the S shape ribbon here at the top. We'll set it to rectangle since we will be creating a rectangle and we will set it to color fill. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now we will start about here and drag our pen upward like this. And then when you let go, you will see that your rectangle will get filled with the yellow. But I don't want a full rectangle. I want a part of it to be cut out. So what we can do is tap remove here. And now we can make another rectangle on top. We'll start about here. And then we'll move down and try to get the same distance on the right side. And we'll go for something like this. And you can see that that part gets removed. Then tap the S shape ribbon again. Now I want the shape to be in the exact center of our canvas. So let's go to the move and transform tool, the little arrow. And then if you have snapping turned on here, you can simply move this around until you see that vertical orange line. And then let's place it about here. Maybe we can actually make it a little bit thinner. We can set this to free form and then drag this handle and move it back to the center. So we have a little bit more space on the sides. Then tap the arrow again to get out of here. Now let's make another shape on another layer. Let's go to the layer menu, tap the plus, and then for the color we need this one over here, first color in the first row. And let's go back to the selection tool, the S shape ribbon. It's still set to rectangle with color fill turned on. And then let's make a long rectangle like this. Then we can go to the move and transform tool again and make sure that it's in the center. Then let's go back to the layer menu and make a new layer, tap the plus and drag it underneath our yellow layer. And then for the color, let's grab this one over here. Eight color in the first row. Let's go back to the selection tool and then make a shape like this. Go upward a little bit to about here. Next we'll make another layer. Let's tap the plus again. Then we'll switch back to this color, first color in the first row. Then grab the selection tool and make a little shelf here. About this high, like this. And to create a little roof for our little ice cream shop, we will make a new layer on top of the others. So first go here and tap the plus. And then for the color, let's grab this one over here. Seventh color in the first row. And for our brush, we will use the model line brush. You can find it under calligraphy. It's already in Procreate. Now the opacity of this brush is at 100% and I'll set the size to 5% and 
And now we will make a circle. Hold your pin in place, then it'll snap to the quick shape, and then when you hold your finger on the screen, it'll turn into a perfectly round circle. Then you can drag in a color, and then we want to make sure that this circle is in the exact center. So let's go to the Move and Transform tool, and move it around until you see that orange line. Then we'll go to the wrench, then to canvas, then we'll turn on the drawing guide, go to edit drawing guide, and then here at the bottom, turn on symmetry. Now we can tap done and move in here. And now we'll want to make a line going up from the side. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen, then tap line here to be able to move it around. And you can look at this side to see if it nicely aligns. So it should be something like this. Now maybe a little bit more to the left. Then tap the brush and then close the shape and drag in the color. Now let's zoom out again. And now we are going to duplicate this layer. So let's go to the layer menu, slide to the left, tap duplicate. Then we'll drag in another color. We'll use this one. That's the sixth color in the second row. Let's drag it in there. Then go to the Move and Transform tool. And here at the bottom, turn on Magnetics. Then we can slide it to the right and make it align with the other one. Now let's duplicate this one. So slide to the left, tap Duplicate. Give it another color. We'll use this one, sixth color in the first row. Drag it in there, then go to the Move and Transform tool and slide to the right. I do see that there's a tiny little gap. So let's go back to this one and to the Move and Transform tool. And you can just tap here like twice to remove that gap. Then go to the top one, then to the Move and Transform tool again and use some taps here as well. Now let's see. I believe they are nicely attached. Then let's duplicate this top one again. Let's slide to the left, tap Duplicate, then grab another color. This time we'll use the fourth color in the second row. Let's drag it on there. Then go to the Move and Transform tool and slide it to the right. And then we might need to tap twice to make sure that it's nicely attached. Now let's duplicate these again. First, let's select all of these four layers by sliding to the right and let's move them a little bit to the left. Then let's duplicate these layers. You can do that by dragging them like this onto your canvas. Now we have four duplicates. Let's select these top four, then go to the Move and Transform tool and move these to the right. Let's nudge them a little bit. And now I just want two more. Let's duplicate the red and the yellow one. Select these two, drag them onto the canvas, then select these top two, go to the Move and Transform tool, and move these to the right. Nudge a bit to make them nicely attach. Now we have a nice line here. Now that we have this, we can actually merge all these layers together by pinching them. And we don't need Drawing Assist anymore here, so tap the layer, turn off Drawing Assist. And then let's go to the Move and Transform tool. I want to move this around. I want this to align with our little shop. So first, let's turn off Magnetics. And then let's manipulate this thing. Make it a little bit thinner. I want it to well, move past the sides just a little bit, not too much. I think maybe something like this. Now it's nicely in the center. And now before we continue, I want to duplicate this layer. Let's slide to the left, tap Duplicate. And then let's turn that top one off. Now let's go to the bottom one, grab the Selection tool, set it to Rectangle and turn off Color Fill. And then select the top part because I want that to be nice and crisp. 
let's go for something like this. Then you can either swipe with three fingers or go to the layer, tap it, and use clear. Now let's go back to that top layer. Let's turn it on. Then let's go to the move and transform tool. And while it's set to free form, let's stretch it like this. Then let's go to the selection tool and select the bottom part where we see that rounded area and the top part. And then swipe with three fingers or use clear on the layer. Then we'll go back to the layer menu and duplicate this layer. So slide to the left, tap duplicate and turn the top one off and then go to this middle one. Now we are going to make this align with the rest. Let's go to the move and transform tool. Move this down so it attaches to those rounded parts. And now over here, set this to distort. Now we are going to move these handles to make this a more pointy roof. Move it down. And we need to make sure that the top part is horizontal. As long as it's horizontal, it'll align with those, well, with those lines. So you need to tweak it a little bit so that it aligns. And I think, I think this looks nice. It's a nice perspective. Then tap the arrow to get out of here. You can see a tiny little gap. We can fix that by going back to the move and transform tool and nudging it downward just with a little tap. Maybe another one. And now we will repeat this step for the top part. Let's go to this layer over here. Let's turn it on. Then let's go to the move and transform tool. Let's set it to uniform and first make this a little bit smaller so that it can align with our top part here. Something like this. And then we'll set it to distort again. Now we are going to make a nice pointy top part. Bit like a circus tent. I think this is nice and pointy. I think it pretty much aligns. Don't worry if it's a little bit off. Now let's nudge it downward a little bit. I do need to expand it a little bit here and here. I think it pretty much aligns. Let's go to the layer menu. Now let's just move it underneath that other part. You can see that it's it's a little bit off, but we are going to make a sign in front of this so it won't be really noticeable. I think it looks fine. I do feel like maybe we can make the lower part of our shop a little bit smaller and we can place everything a little bit lower. Let's first go to this layer. I think we can remo remove a little part of the underside. So let's go to the selection tool, set it to rectangle without color fill and select the bottom part here, but well, like this. And now we can swipe with three fingers to get rid of that. And now let's move everything downward a little bit. To do that, you need to select everything by sliding to the right. So when all the layers are blue, you can go to the move and transform tool and then move it downward a little bit like this and then tab the arrow again. Now let's create some wheels. Let's make a layer on top of this one. Let's tap the plus and then for the color, let's grab this one fourth color in the first row. And for the brush, we still need the model line brush and we also want to make use of that symmetry tool. So let's tap the layer and turn on drawing assist. Then we can draw a circle here. Hold your pen in place to make it snap to the quick shape and then tap your finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle. Then you can tap circle here to move this around and we'll place it about here. Then drag in the color to fill the circles and then we'll make another circle on top. Let's tap the plus for a new layer, set this to drawing assist as well. And for the color, we will use this one, fifth color in the first row. 
Then let's draw another circle. You can make it wobbly like this, no problem. Then hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen, and then go for something like this. Then tap circle, and make sure you place it in the center of the other circle. And then drag in the color. Now let's make another circle. Let's do that on a new layer. Let's tap the plus, set this layer to drawing assist. And then for the color, we will grab this orange over here. That's the seventh color and the second row. And now let's draw another circle like this. Tap your finger on the screen, tap circle here and place it in the center. And then drag in the color. Then let's add some color over here. Let's make a layer on top of this one. Let's tap the plus. And then let's set this to clipping mask. Tap the layer, turn on clipping mask. Now whatever we draw here, it'll only show up on that yellow area. And for the color, we will grab this one, third color in the first row. And let's also turn on symmetry on the layer. So tap the layer and turn on drawing assist. Then we'll make another circular shape here. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen, make a shape like this, then go to circle at the top and place it right on top of the wheels. Then let's grab the brush again and let's also make a line like this. Then make sure that that shape is closed, so let's loop underneath and then drag in the color into these areas. You can use continue filling and tap these areas to, to fill everything and then tap this little mark to get out of there. Then next we'll make a layer underneath this one. So first tap this layer and tap the plus. I want to add a little extra to our little shop. We'll grab the second color in the first row and we'll grab the selection tool again, the S ship ribbon, set it to rectangle with color fill turned on. And then we'll just make a rectangular shape over here. And then just tap the S ship ribbon again. Now before we continue, let's add some color to our background. Let's go to the layer menu and tap background color. And then we'll grab this color over here the ninth color in the first row. Then let's also add a little gradient to our background. Let's go to the layer menu, tap the plus for a new layer and drag it all the way to the bottom. Then for our color, we'll grab the 10th color in the first row. And for our brush, we'll go to the airbrushing brushes and use the soft brush. The opacity of this brush is at 70%. Let's set the size to 15. And then we'll grab the selection tool again, set it to rectangle, but color fill turned off. And then let's make a selection from here all the way to the top. And when you have an active selection, you can only paint inside of that selection. So that's very useful. Let's grab the brush and then let's paint over this lower area like this, adding a gentle gradient to our sky. Then turn off the selection by tapping the S ship ribbon. Then I want to soften this area just a little bit. We'll go to the magic wand and then go for Gaussian blur. And then with your pen or finger on the screen, slide to the right to gently soften that. Let's go for 15% and then tap the magic wand again. Now let's also add a little shadow to our illustration. Let's tap the plus for a new layer. Then for the color, grab this one over here, eight color in the second row. And for the brush, go back to the calligraphy brushes and use the monoline brush. Then we'll make an oval shape here. Hold your pen in place. Tap one finger on the screen to make sure that it's, it's like horizontally aligned. Then drag in the color and then go to the move and transform tool. Set it to free form and we can make it a little bit smaller. Let's turn snapping off for now to just make it a little bit thinner. You can make it a little bit more elongated. Then you can turn snapping back on 
to make sure that it's aligned in the center. Now let's make a new layer on top of this one. Let's tap the plus. And for the color, let's grab this one this time, ninth color in the second row. And again, we'll make an oval shape. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen and create something like this and drag in the color, go to the move and transform tool and make it a bit more flat and place it in the center. Then I want to blur it a little bit. So let's go to the magic wand, go to Gaussian blur and slide to the right. Just slightly. Let's go for 5%. And maybe we can move it down just a little bit. Let's go back to the move and transform tool and nudge it downward so that it's slightly underneath those wheels. And let's have the arrow again. Now, if you're happy with the gradient and with the shadow, then you can actually go to your layer menu and pinch these three together. Now let's continue with our little ice cream truck. Let's go to this layer, our pink layer, and make a new layer on top by tapping the plus. And then for the color, let's grab this one, fourth color and the second row. And now we are going to make a rounded rectangle. Let's make use of the symmetry tool for that. So let's go to the layer, tap it, turn on drawing assist. And now for our brush, we will use the monoline brush, but we will make it a bit bigger. Let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Let's set the size to 65% so we can get nice rounded corners. Let's make a line downward like this. Tap one finger on the screen and then to the center. like this and then for the bottom part as well you see we are behind that other line that's not very handy let's move this up by going to the move and transform tool let's check it out tap the arrow again you can see we have a slight little bump there that looks better then drag in the color now let's go to the move and transform tool again and let's set this to uniform, make this a little bit smaller. And then let's duplicate this layer. Let's slide to the left, tap duplicate, then go to the move and transform tool, slide it to the right and leave a little bit of space in between. And then we'll repeat that. Duplicate this one, then move it to the right. And then one more time, Slide to the left, duplicate, go to the move and transform tool and slide to the right. Now let's change the colors of these. Let's first pinch them together. Then let's grab this color, first color and the second row. And let's also make sure that we turn off drawing assist, by the way. So tap the layer, turn off drawing assist then grab this brown and drag it in this one. Then for the next color, we'll grab this one third color in the first row. We'll use it for this one. And then finally, let's grab this color, sixth color in the second row and use it for this one. Now let's go back to the move and transform tool. And we need to place this in the center. And let's set this to free form to just make it a little bit less tall. Like I said, place it in the center and then set this to distort here and then Let's pull this outward and over here as well to place this in perspective. Now we have these nice containers for our ice cream. Let's tap the arrow. Next, let's move on to our sign at the top of our ice cream shop. First, let's make a new layer on top of all the others. So let's go to the top. Let's tap the plus and then for the color, Let's use this one over here, second color in the first row. And for the layer, let's also turn on drawing assist. We are going to create a rectangular shape. First, let's make a line like this. Tap one finger on the screen to make sure that it's perfectly horizontal. Then let's move down. Again, tap your finger on the screen and then back to the center. Drag in the color. You might need to adjust it a little bit. I have a little bit of a wonky part here. We want a nice 
rounded shop sign. Of course, you can also use edit for your line and then move it a bit. I think this will do. Then let's duplicate this layer. Let's slide to the left, tap duplicate. And then for this layer, we'll use a different color. We'll grab this one, fifth color in the first row. Let's drag it in there. Then let's go to the move and transform tool and set it to free form. And then we'll just make this a little bit smaller. So we get that yellow edge around it. Now for the name of our shop, let's tap the arrow first. Now we are going to use the text tool in Procreate. We'll go to the wrench, then to add, and then to add text. Let's move it on here. Let's change the color for now so we can see it. Let's grab this red. Now let's go back and I'm going to name my shop Flo. This is Flo's ice cream shop. Now for the font, I am using Planet Comic and you can find it linked in the description. Once you have downloaded it, you can simply tap import font and then you can just navigate to the font and install it into Procreate. I need to make the letters a little bit bigger. So let me double tap here to select everything. Then go back to AA here and use the size slider to make the letters a bit bigger. You can also move the letters away from each other a little bit by turning up the kerning. So play around with the size and the kerning to get a nice balanced name here. And then let's tap done. Now let's zoom out a little bit. I want our, our name, our brand here, I want it to be curved, this sign. So let's go to these layers, then select all three of them. And then we'll go back to the move and transform to a little arrow. And then over here, we'll set this to warp. And then over here, turn on advanced mesh. Now we can zoom in and we can use these handles and move these up to create a curve. Use these handles as well. And these, all of these handles in the center. And we can also use these to curve it there as well. And try to curve it in the same way on each side. So we're mirroring the curves here. And we can curve it a bit less. Just make sure that you do the same movement on each side. Let's zoom out. Yeah, I want it to curve a little bit less. I think something like this looks fine. Let it, then let's set it to uniform. Let's make sure that it's centered. I think this is, this is a good place. Then let's go back to this layer. I want to change the colors of some of these letters. Let's grab this color, for instance, eight color in the first row. Let's use that for the L. And then let's grab this yellow sixth color in the second row for the O. And then let's zoom out. Next, let's add the top of our little tent like roof. Let's make a layer. Uh, on top of this one, let's tap the plus, let's set it to drawing assist. And then for the color, let's grab this one, fourth color in the third row. And for the brush, we can use the monoline brush. Now let's go in here and make, well, the brush is a bit too big. Let's set the size to 5% again. And then let's make a shape going up. And then to the center, like this, hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen so that it's nicely horizontal, then drag in the color, and then tap and hold the eraser to make it switch to the monoline brush. Now let's cut off the top part. Erase that. Then let's make this brush a little bit bigger. Let's set it to 15%. 
and then let's make these little indents. All right, next I want to add a little flag line in our shop. I think that will look great. Let's go and create a layer. Where shall we put it? Over here. Here on layer four, let's tap the plus and let's set this layer to drawing assist. And then for the color, let's grab the red again. Seven color in the first row. And now let's make a triangular shape. Let's go towards the center like this. Connect the top part and then drag in the color. If you want it to look more pointy, then you can go and grab the eraser and use that to get those nice pointy edges, pointy corners. Now let's duplicate this layer. So we'll go to the layer menu, slide to the left, tap duplicate, give this a different color. So go to this one, seven color in the second row, drag it on there, then go to the move and transform tool and move it to the right. Let's see if it doesn't have a gap just a little bit. So let's go back to the move and transform tool and nudge it to the left. And now let's duplicate it again. We'll slide to the left, tap duplicate, give it a different color. We'll use this one, eight color in the first row, drag it on there, then go to the move and transform tool, slide to the right and nudge it back to the left. Then another one, slide to the left, tap duplicate. Then let's give it another color. Let's use this one, the sixth color in the second row. Go to the move and transform tool, slide to the right and nudge back to the left. And then what we can actually do is pinch these together and duplicate these. And go to the move and transform tool and slide to the right and nudge a bit to the left. So now we have a nice flag line that we can use. Let's pinch these layers together, then go back to the move and transform tool. And I want these to hang over here, but I want them to nicely curve. So let's use warp again. Turn on the advanced mesh and then we'll use these handles to precisely nudge these and make this look natural. Just use these multiple handles. You have full control over the way these will hang. I think something like this uh, is fine actually. So let's tab the arrow. What I want to add next are some ice creams at the top. Let's make a new layer on top of the others. So let's tap the plus and let's set that to drawing assist. And then for the color, let's grab this one. Six color in the first row. And then let's make the shape of an ice cream cone here. A bit rounded, something like this. Drag in the color. Yeah, something like this, a playful rounded shape. Then for some ice cream on top, we'll make a new layer. And for the color, we'll grab this one. Third color in the third row. And for the brush, I would like to use the script brush. With the script brush, the harder you press, the thicker your line will become. I have set the opacity to 100% and the size is at 10%. And then let's make a rounded shape like this. And another rounded shape here. A little bit over here and then like a little pointy part at the top. Something like this and then drag in the color. Then let's set this layer to alpha lock so we won't be able to paint outside of the shape. And then let's grab this color over here. Fifth color in the third row. And let's add some pink color here on the side for 
for some nice color variation. Little line here. And I will switch to the fourth color in the third row. And then we'll add some of this darker pink. I use light pressure for some light swirls. Maybe some dots here. Little swirl here. And you can also switch back to that light pink fifth color in the third row to bring some of that back. And you can do the same with the yellowish color, third color in the third row. And add some dots here, for instance. Then for the cone, let's go to that layer. Let's turn off Drawing Assist and then tap the layer again and turn on Alpha Lock here as well. Then for the color, let's grab this one over here, third color in the second row. And then let's add a little shadow on the side and underneath here. And then for the light parts, let's grab this color over here, sixth color in the second row. And let's add a little light edge and some lighter dots. So now we have a nice little ice cream. But we won't be keeping it up here. Let's select these two layers by sliding to the right, then go to the Move and Transform tool. Let's set this to Uniform. And let's rotate it a bit and place it about here. Now we are going to duplicate this so we can have more ice creams at the top. So let's slide these onto the canvas, then grab the top two, select these, go to the Move and Transform tool and place one over here. Now let's duplicate this again, slide it onto the canvas, select the top two, go to the Move and Transform tool Place one over here. And then we'll duplicate that again. Select the top two. Go to the Move and Transform tool. Rotate it a bit and place this one over here. Now I want to change the colors of some of these. Now the bottom one is our original one. Let's just pinch these together. I'm happy with those. Then let's go to this one. That's the one on the right. Select the cone. Then go to the magic wand and then to use saturation brightness. And then you can use the slider to change the color a bit. Let's go for something bluish, greenish. You can also turn up the saturation if you like or make it a bit brighter. I'll go for something like this, 89, 51, 51. And then let's do the same for the cream. So let's go to that layer. Let's go to the magic wand. Then to use saturation brightness and use the slider to turn this into a pinkish hue. Make it a bit less bright. Something like this. I'm at 37, 53, 46. I'm happy with this one so we can pinch these together as well. Or actually you can pinch it together with the other ice cream. And now let's move on to this one. Another way to change the color is by adding a layer with a different layer blending mode. We can tap the plus, set this layer to clipping mask, and then tap the N to set this layer blending mode to multiply, for instance. We can make this ice cream cone a little bit darker. For the brush, let's grab the soft brush under airbrushing. And for the color, we can grab this red. That's the seventh color in the first row. Let's just go over here to make it slightly darker, but you will still see the shadow and the highlights. Let's do something similar for the cream. So first, let's pinch these together, then go to the cream layer, tap the plus, set this layer to clipping mask, and tap the N, and set this to multiply. Then let's go over here, and now it becomes a little bit dark pinkish reddish so a slight variation of the others then we can pinch these together with the other ice creams then let's go to the top one 
For this one, first let's change the cone. Let's go to the magic wand again, use U saturation brightness. I want this one to be a bit more pinkish, something like this. Maybe turn up the brightness a bit. And then let's go to the cream. Let's first tap the plus for a new layer, set this to clipping mask. And let's set this to multiply. So scroll up and let's grab a yellow. Let's grab this one, second color in the first row. And let's go over here, make it a little bit yellow. And then we'll add another layer. We'll tap the plus again, set this to clipping mask as well. But this time we'll set the layer blending mode to color. You can use this to change the colors on a layer a bit. So let's go over there to add more yellow to those darker areas. And now we have four different little ice creams. Let's pinch them together. Then let's make a new layer underneath this. I want it to look as if they are attached to our roof. So let's make a layer underneath our roof, like over here. Let's tap the plus. And then for the color, let's grab this orange. Sixth color in the first row. And for the brush, let's go back to the calligraphy brushes and use the monoline brush. Let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Let's set it to 70%. And then let's make a line. Hold your pen in place to connect these to the roof. You know what? At this point, we can actually get rid of that line for our symmetry. We don't need that anymore. So let's go to the wrench, then to canvas and turn off the drawing guide. Now before we start adding our ice cream over here, let's first add some texture to everything. So let's start with our, with our cart. Let's go to this layer, layer one. Let's set it to alpha lock. So we won't be able to paint outside of it. And to add some texture, we will use a brush from the treasure chest brush pack. Let's scroll up here. Now this is a completely free brush pack. If you don't already have it, please go to freefromflow.com to get it. You're going to use the spackle brush. And for the color, let's grab the red over here. Seventh color in the first row. And the opacity of the brush is at 75%. And let's set the size to 10%. And let's start here near the top for some shadow underneath there. Just make multiple strokes, gently adding that shadow. And now for these areas, let's go a little bit lighter. Let's grab the orange sixth color in the first row. And let's go underneath here, for instance, a little shadow underneath there. Also a little bit over here on the left side of the truck. We can make multiple strokes to gently build it up a little bit along this side. And a little bit on the left side here. And over here. I also want to add some light. So let's grab a very light color like this one, fourth color and the second row. And let's add that on the side here for a little bit of light over here as well. And then let's move on to this shape over here. Let's set this to alpha lock as well. And then let's first grab the orange sixth color in the first row and add a bit of shadow here. This will nicely separate it from the rest. You can also add a bit of light. So grab the fourth color again in the second row and add some light here. And then let's go to this layer, set this to alpha lock, but to turn off drawing assist, we don't want this to look symmetrical. And then for the color, let's first grab the red, maybe this one. Let's grab the third color in the second row. It's a bit closer to this pink. We'll go along the top of the wheel and along the underside. 
You can also use that bright red seven color in the first row for a bit of a more saturated touch. And then for some lighter color, we can use this one over here, the fifth color in the third row. Let's add a light touch here, the top, and over here. And now let's pinch this together with that yellow layer. We don't need these to be separated again or anymore. And then once we have done that, we can also pinch this with that other yellow layer. I also want to add like a dark shadow area here. Let's grab the fine liner brush for that. It's also part of the treasure chest brush pack. And for the color, let's grab this one, ninth color and the second row. And then we'll go along this edge. Uh, the opacity of the brush is at 100% and the size is at 10%. And so let's go along this edge to create a bit of a shadow area there. Then on this side as well, just follow that wheel. There. Now let's move on to the wheels. Let's go to this layer first. Let's turn off drawing assist and turn on alpha lock. And let's go back to the spackle brush. And for the color, let's stick with this one actually to add a little bit of shadow at the top here. And a little bit at the bottom as well. And I want to add a light circle. Let's grab this color, eighth color in the first row and grab the fine liner brush again. And let's also turn on drawing assist again. So we only have to draw this once. Let's make a circle around here. Make a nice wobbly circle first and hold your pen in place. Tap one finger on the screen. Then go to circle at the top to make sure that you place it nicely. Let's leave a little edge. I'm just going to move it like this, a little bit of an edge around that blue circle. And then let's move on to that blue circle. Let's turn off drawing assist. Let's tap the layer again, turn on alpha lock. Then for the brush, grab the spackle brush again. And for the color, we will grab this blue first color and the third row. And now let's go along this top area, make rounded motions to create a bit of a shadow effect there. Do the same over here. Rounded motions like this. You can also add some light at the bottom with this color, second color in the third row and add that over here. It's very subtle, but it's there. Again, rounded motions. And now let's move on to the orange layer. Once you're happy with these, you can actually pinch these together and go to the orange layer over there. Turn off drawing assist, tap the layer again and turn on alpha lock. Now for the color, let's first grab the red seventh color in the first row for a little bit of a shadow underneath here. Again, rounded motions along the edge of the circle and then grab a lighter color like this one fourth color in the second row for a little bit of a highlight. Making rounded motions like this. And now let's pinch these together. We can actually pinch them together with the truck. Now let's go to this shelf. Let's turn on alpha lock. And then for the color, let's grab this one, fifth color in the second row. And let's go along the underside adding just a tiny bit of shadow 
Then let's move on to this shelf over here. Let's tap it, turn on alpha lock. And here I'd like to use this orange. That's the seventh color in the second row. Let's add a little bit over here, a little bit of shadow in here as well, separating it from the rest. And now let's move on to our roof. It'll look so much more lovely once we have worked on the roof. Let's make a new layer on top of this layer. Let's tap the plus and then set this layer to clipping mask. And I set the layer, well, change the layer blending mode of this layer and set it to multiply. So we can add a little shadow. And for the color, let's grab this one. Third color in the second row. And let's go over the left side here. You know what, let's make the brush a little bit bigger, 45%. And add some shadow on the left side of our roof. Then let's add another layer. Let's tap the plus, set this to clipping mask as well. And then tap the N and set this layer blending mode to screen for some highlight. And for the color, let's grab this one over here. Fourth color in the second row. Now let's just go over here just gently, adding a little highlight. Then let's make the brush smaller again, 10%. I'll just create a little diagonal highlight here. Then let's switch to the fine liner brush and add a little light line here, a little light edge, a little highlight along, well, along this edge. And then let's do the same thing for these areas. Let's first pinch these together. I'm happy with them. Let's go to the top area here. Let's tap the plus, set the layer to clipping mask, tab the N, and set it to multiply. Then we'll go back to the spackle brush. And for the color, let's grab the red. Let's go for the seventh color in the first row. And then let's go along the top here for some shadow, along the side, behind our sign. We gently build it up like this. Then we'll do the same for the highlights again. Tap the plus, set that layer to clipping mask, tap the N, and set it to screen. And then grab that light color again. That's the fourth color in the second row. Now let's add some highlight here. And then once you're happy, you can pinch these together and then we'll move on to this layer. Again, tap the plus, set this layer to clipping mask, tap the N and set it to multiply. And then again, let's grab the red, seventh color in the first row and add a shadow underneath our sign. And for the rest, I mostly like to add some highlights. So let's go to the layer menu, tab the plus, set it to clipping mask, tab the N, and set this one to screen. Then grab the fourth color in the second row, and let's add some highlight. For instance, here on that edge, to nicely separate the front from the top. And also some highlight here. And on this side, let's make a bit of a diagonal here. Nice highlight. I think this looks great. Now let's merge these together. You can actually merge them all together here for that roof. Now let's go to this one. Let's turn off drawing assist and turn on alpha lock. Let's just work on this layer directly. Let's grab the red, seventh color in the first row. Let's add a little bit of that red here in the lower area. Then let's switch to a light color, like the fifth color in the third row, and add a little highlight at the top. And then for our sign, let's go to our sign. We can merge these together, actually. First, let's go to the yellow part. Let's turn off drawing assist 
and then turn on alpha lock and let's first grab let's grab this color third color in the second row add a slight little shadow here a little bit of dark texture and a little bit over here as well and then let's grab the fine liner brush and a light color let's grab this one third color in the third row and let's add a little highlight edge at the top here and over here then for the blue area let's turn off drawing assist first then tap the layer again turn on alpha lock and for the color grab this dark blue and for the brush we need the spackle brush again and then let's add a little bit of that dark blue around the top and the right area then for the letters let's go to this layer turn on alpha lock and then let's grab this one ninth color in the second row for a little bit of shadow on our F and then let's switch to the red seventh color in the first row for a little bit on the L and a little bit on the O then let's switch to the fine liner brush and grab the light color that we have that fourth color in the second row and just add a little bit of highlight on these letters and on the O like this next let's work on the ice cream let's go to that layer where we have the ice cream let's tap the plus for a new layer on top and then for our brush we will use the fine liner brush and for our chocolate ice cream we'll move to this color second color in the second row now the opacity of the brush is still at 100 percent and the size at 10 percent and then let's move in here and we are going to create some swirls here so we'll start over here create a swirl like this and another swirl here and you can move outside of that that container a bit that will make a curve here and a curve like this with some extra curves inside then another swirl here and some curves here and another curl here so you get something like this now let's move on to the next one let's grab this color third color in the second row and let's make slightly different shapes here we'll make these like wavy shapes We'll make curved shapes from one side to the other. Another one here. Curves on the sides. And again, you can make them go outside of that container. Then for this one, we will grab this color, fifth color in the second row. Again, let's make some swirly motions our swirl here just fill that space with these curved lines that one here and then finally for this one let's grab this color over here sixth color in the first row and let's make something similar to the pink one to the the strawberry flavor so these long curved shapes over here make them go outside of the container and one here 
Then we need to fill those gaps that we see. So we need to go to this layer. And for the brush, let's go to the calligraphy brushes again and use the monoline brush. And first we need the, the chocolate color. First color in the second row. Now let's go in there and fill these gaps here. Then for the pink, we need this color, third color, and the first row. And just fill those gaps. And if you don't want to go to the color palette, then you can also just tap and hold with your finger to grab the color you need. And then fill those little gaps. Then grab this color, fill the gaps. like this and now we need some spoons let's put those on a new layer on top of this one let's tap the plus and for the color let's grab this red seventh color in the first row and let's go in here and create a shape like this little spoon shape sticking out there over here as well and for this one And over here. Then let's grab the eraser, but let's set it to the fine liner brush from the treasure chest brush pack. And then let's go along that edge to make it look as if it's sticking in that ice cream. There. Now let's add some shading to that pink area around it. We have that on this layer. Let's tap the layer and turn on alpha lock. And then for the brush, let's go to the spackler brush again. And for the color, we will stick with that red. And let's add some over here on the side and a little bit around these containers. A little bit on the left side. And over here and here on this side. Let's also add a little bit at the bottom. And then let's grab the fine liner brush again. And let's set it to this light color, fourth color in the second row. And then let's add a tiny light edge. Like on the left and around the bottom. Here as well, tiny little highlight edge. Now for this one, it's the same color, so we can add just a little extra line here. And then for this one, let's go along the bottom and a little bit on the right. Now we can also add some texture to the ice cream itself. Let's go to that layer on which we have the color. And then for the brush, we need the spackler brush again, and we'll stick with the same color. Now to keep this a bit tidy and not go over all the areas, we are going to use the selection tool, the S shape ribbon, set it to freehand and make sure the color fill is turned off. And then for instance, select these little bumps and then go along the bottom area like this, then close the selection, then grab the brush, and then go over those top areas. Then let's tap and hold the selection tool, and then use invert, so the other area is selected, then grab the brush again, then go over this top area. And then for this area, we need a different selection. So let's tap the S shape ribbon and then again, and then select this area, let's loop around, close it, grab the brush and add a little highlight here at the top. Then remove the selection. Now you can see that we have a few highlights at the tops of these like swirls. Now just repeat these steps with the other flavors, except for this one since it's already pretty light. So then it would look like this. 
Next, let's add some shading here. Let's go to that layer. Actually, once you're happy with the ice cream, then you can just merge these layers like this. Then let's go here. Let's turn off Drawing Assist here. Then let's set this layer to Alpha Lock. And then for the color, let's grab that red. Seventh color in the first row. Let's go over here, over the top. Just to add a little bit of shadow. And push it backward a little bit. So something like this. Now finally, we need some cones. Let's create a layer underneath uh, this one. Let's make a layer. Let's tap this one, this layer, layer three, and tap the plus. So we have a layer that is behind this little shelf. Then for the brush, we need the monoline brush under calligraphy. And for the color, we'll use this red. And first, we need a little stand for our, our cones. Let's make a line like this. Hold your pen in place. Tap one finger on the screen. And now let's make one side here. Let's make it a little bit wider. It's a very simple shape. Just remember to tap your finger on the screen to make it perfectly vertical. Now this is where we'll place our cones. Now first, let's make a layer for those cones. We'll do that on a layer underneath this one. So let's tap this layer again and tap the plus. Set this layer to Drawing Assist. But now I do realize that we don't have that line anymore to help us. So let's go to the wrench and to canvas and turn on a drawing guide for now. And now for the color, we will use this one over here, the seventh color in the second row. And we still have the model line brush. Let's make it a bit smaller. Let's set it to 5%. And let's make a little cone shape. So something like this. Then connect the top part. Let's color it in. So you get something like this. Then let's go back to the layer. Let's turn off Drawing Assist. And let's turn on Alpha Lock. And let's also turn off that Drawing Guide. Then for the brush, we will go back to the Treasure Chest Brush Pack and use the Fine Liner Brush. And for the color, we will use this orange, that sixth color in the first row. Let's set the size of this brush to 6%. And let's just add a little bit of like a pattern as if this is a waffle cone. Now we are going to move this cone. Let's go to the Move and Transform tool and place it here in this holder. Let's turn off snapping. We don't need that. Let's place it about here. And then let's duplicate this. Let's slide to the left on the layer, tap Duplicate, then go to the Move and Transform tool and move this upward. Actually, we need this one to be below. We need to move the bottom one, but let's just switch these. Then on this one, we are going to add a little bit of shadow. So let's go and grab the spackler brush again. And for the color, we will grab the red. So the seventh color in the first row. And then let's just go in here and add a little bit of shadow here. I actually want to move the cone downward a little bit. Let's go back to the Move and Transform tool. Place it about here. Back to the brush. A little bit of shadow. Then we will duplicate this again. So slide to the left. Tap Duplicate. Then go to the bottom one. Then to the Move and Transform tool. And move it upward. Then let's duplicate these three. Let's slide to the left. Then Drag and hold, place them on the canvas. Then we need to go to the top three here, select them. Let's drag them downward. Then go to the Move and Transform tool and place these over here. I want this little tower to be a little bit higher, so let's duplicate the bottom one. Slide to the left, tap Duplicate, tap the bottom one, then go to the Move and Transform tool and move this upward. Now let's Pinch these four together. I'm happy with these. And let's make another duplicate of these three. I'm happy with these as well, so let's pinch those together as well. Then slide to the left, tap Duplicate, then go to the Move and Transform tool, and move these to the right. And tap the arrow, 
And now we have some nice waffle cones. Now finally, let's add some clouds and some glass in front of our ice cream. We don't want anyone touching that ice cream. So let's start with that. Let's go. Well, we can actually pinch these together, by the way, to save some space. It will make a layer on top of the ice cream here. So let's tap that layer and tap the plus. Then for our color, we will grab this one over here, fifth color in the first row. And let's grab the selection tool again. Set it to rectangle and to color fill. And then just make a rectangular shape here to cover our ice cream. But of course we don't want it to be entirely covered. Let's go to the layered and tap the end. And let's slide to the left to 60%. And now let's also add a layer mask to this layer. We'll tap this layered and tap mask. And now on this white mask, we can paint with black to mask parts of that blue. Let's go and grab the spackle brush and let's set it to black by double tapping here. And then let's just go over here with rounded motions to block parts here. Let's make the brush a bit bigger, 45%. And let's go in there to make it look more transparent. So now we have very subtle glass. If you check it out, it's very subtle. Let's also add some highlights here. Let's tap the plus and then for the color, let's grab this one. Last color in the second row. Now let's make the brush smaller again, 10%. Now let's make these diagonal strokes, three of them. And now let's also switch to the fineliner brush with this color and add some more of these lines. So we have a little reflection going on there. Now finally for the clouds, let's make a layer on top of this one. So we're in the background, let's tap the plus. And for the brush, let's grab one of the calligraphy brushes. You can pick between a model line and a script brush. I'm going to use the script brush just because I feel it gives me a little bit more control. And now let's make some simple cloud shapes. Very basic with a flat underside, dragging the color to fill them. Another one over here, dragging the color, another one here. Drag in the color and one over here. Drag in the color. Then I want to make them more subtle. And to do that, we are going to use a layer mask again. So to do that, we will go to the layer, we'll tap it and then give it a mask. And then we will use black. And for the brush, we will use the soft brush under airbrushing again. And I want to fade the underside of our clouds, but to make sure that we don't go over this cloud, for instance, when we want to fade the, well, the bottom part, we can use the selection tool. So let's tap the S shape ribbon. Then let's make sure that we turn off color fill and let's use freehand. And let's select these top two clouds, close the selection and then grab the brush. And I can go over that underside Make multiple strokes so the underside isn't visible anymore. And you get that nice fade. Do the same over here. Fade that underside like this. And then for the other clouds, we can turn off the selection and just go over here. We don't need a selection here. There's nothing that we will go over. Just fade the underside and make these nice subtle clouds. And there's our little ice cream shop. Will you come buy an ice cream at my shop? Or maybe you would just like to continue working on more tutorials like this one, for instance. I would like to thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing your results and I will see you next time for the next tutorial.